Hello, my name's Shura Taft, and we're back again to take a closer look at some of the key features of the Isuzu N-Series range of light trucks. In this video, we're going to be unpacking the diesel particulate diffuser exhaust system, otherwise known as the DPD. Found on the N-Series models powered by the 150 horsepower Isuzu 4JJ1 engine. Since its initial adoption, Isuzu engineers have fine-tuned and calibrated the DPD to best suit Australian operating conditions, resulting in a well-performing and reliable emissions control system. Let's check it out. Through the use of the DPD, Isuzu N-Series models with the 4JJ1 engine not only meet the emissions standards, but also the tougher EEV standard due to its ability to capture most of the particulate emissions. This more than satisfies the most recent ADR 8003 emissions benchmark for commercial vehicles, which came into force in 2011. Located midway along the exhaust system, the DPD combines an oxidation catalyst to clean hydrocarbons and ceramic filter that traps PM. Pressure differential sensors that are used to monitor the accumulation of trapped PM within the ceramic filter, and once a certain amount of PM is detected, the ceramic filter regenerates. So what is the DPD and how does it work? Well, for starters, it's just located under the truck behind the transmission there. The DPD forms part of the truck's exhaust and emissions control system. More often than not, the DPD will regenerate automatically once certain operating conditions are achieved and this requires no additional input from the driver. However, in certain circumstances, a manual regeneration is required, which we'll demonstrate shortly. As you can see here, there's a green DPD alert lamp that has appeared on the driver's instrument panel display. This indicates that the DPD is doing an automatic regeneration. When this lamp appears, there's no input required from the driver and the truck will continue to drive and perform as per normal. The green lamp will remain on the dash until the regeneration is complete. It's important to allow the regeneration process to be completed, so avoid turning off the truck until it's done so, unless absolutely necessary. If the automatic regeneration process is interrupted more than twice, the truck will then alert the driver that a manual regeneration of the DPD is required. In the rare circumstance the driver is required to perform a manual regeneration, it is essential that the truck is parked and stationary throughout the process. The truck must be idling with the transmission in neutral and the park brake applied. To start a manual regeneration, simply push the DPD switch position on the left-hand side of the steering wheel under the windscreen wiper shifter. During a manual DPD regeneration, the idle speed increases slightly and a red regeneration lamp will appear on the driver's instrument panel. Depending on how long it's been between regenerations, this process can take anywhere between 5 and 40 minutes. Once the manual regeneration is complete, the idle speed will return to normal and the truck can be operated again. With the correct operation, Isuzu's DPD system is simple to operate and requires very little input from drivers. Together with its state-of-the-art, low-displacement diesel engine technology, Isuzu's DPD system is working to create a cleaner environment for everyone. This video is part of a broader N-Series demonstration playlist, which can be browsed on the Isuzu Trucks YouTube channel or by clicking on the links below. Further information on the Isuzu N-Series can also be found on the Isuzu Trucks website. Thanks for watching. I'm Shura Taft. Happy trucking.